It's the first day of the final year exams and the nervousness is clear. All Masar can do now is take one last look over her notes. Tarek, on the other hand, goes for a different approach. Today is just the beginning for the 76,000 Palestinian students starting their exams. Over the next 20 days, they will take exams in up to nine different subjects. If a student fails just one exam, they will fail their Tawjihi. As part of the added security, the Director of Education has been joined by the Governor of Nablus to make a tour of the schools. In previous years, accusations have been made that Israeli troops and road closures have been strategically placed to disrupt the exams. This year, the pressure is on to make sure they happen without any disruptions. On average, only 52% of students pass their Tawjihi every year. For those who do pass, they are in direct competition and are battling for places at the top universities. The long tradition of the Tawjihi, with such high stakes and the public announcements of the results, has ensured that the exams are a highlight of Palestinian society. With the first exam over, the students can go home, but Dais's day is far from over. Dias has received worrying news from a parent. Last night, one of his students was arrested by the Israeli army. Dias is going round to visit the boy's parents. Every year, the Israeli army detains around 700 Palestinian children. 
Often the parents of the children aren't given any explanation for the arrest. Abed's parents have no idea why their 17-year-old son was arrested or when they will see him next. He has become one of the thousands of Palestinians held in Israeli jails indefinitely. Even for those who aren't in an Israeli jail, living life in Nablus can often feel like imprisonment. Shifa Al Khatib is a science teacher from Haja Rushta Girls School. She is one of the thousands of paperless Palestinians without any form of national identity. Without ID papers, Shifa's family aren't able to cross the checkpoints encircling the city, and they haven't seen their relatives in Jordan for 10 years. <laughs> Recently, Shifa and her family were offered a lifeline under a family reunification program agreed between Palestine and Israel. Families like Shifa's are receiving identification allowing them to travel and be reunited with their relatives. It's only a matter of hours since Shifa finally received her ID papers, but already there is a problem. Shifa has heard that the Palestinian Authority might not have enough money to pay its employees. If you are a state employee like Shifa, you can never be certain that your salary will come through. كنا أساساً متأمنين إنه ينزل الراتب عشان نصير على الأردن. 
انا اصلا اليوم كيف بدي امرقه عشان يجي بكره يعني كيف بدي يمرق اليوم علي انا الانتظار صعب يعني ما صدقنا من عشر سنين بنستنى بهاللحظه وهي هتكسرت احلامنا وامالنا يعني حطمت If the pay doesn't come through by tonight, they won't be able to travel to Jordan.